I actually I really love the idea of like nude beaches and and seeing the body as or or being able to see the naked body as not something entirely sexual but something that is also allowed to just be. My name is Ulla Selin Sandland and I am an artist from Norway but currently based in London. I work with figurative watercolor paintings and recently my practice also includes sculpture and writing fiction. It's hard to choose because there are so many, but I think the first one that comes to mind is a painting by Otto Meyer Anden. It depicts a boy in a classroom and he is central in the painting, so we are staring right at him. He has his pants pulled down and his chest and genitalia exposed. In the corner of our eyes, we see all his classmates with their heads turned, staring at him with us. On the left side of the painting, we see parts of a figure. It could be a sculpture, but it also looks like the boy reflected in the painting as if he's seeing himself from the outside. It reminds one, one of those dreams where you suddenly find yourself naked in front of other people, where you can also see yourself from the outside. So it has this very unsettling but very strong feeling. It also connects to a personal experience that I had um, one that I actually put myself through in high school, where I stood up in front of the entire class. And as you know, when you're a teenager, you have a lot of self-doubt and um, you can do strange things. And I told everyone, or I had a feeling that I, I had to explain to everyone that I had ADHD and that I had to sort of defend myself in that way. But it ended up just being extremely traumatizing, um, the whole thing itself. But I have a bittersweet feeling towards it today because as much as it is uncomfortable, it also reveals a part of myself that is always seeking to challenge oneself. The other painting is Bathing Women by uh, Yuki Ogura and it depicts two naked women um, in an onsen. The painting is so beautiful in its simplicity and it's something that I aspire to do as well with my work. Um, it also reminds me of uh, the exchange I did to Tokyo during my BA. Um, and I would often go to these onsens, um, which are public baths, and I would bathe with all these women that I didn't know and also couldn't really communicate with properly. Um, but it was a different type of connection, one where we were together in our silent nudeness. The last painting is called Number 18 by uh, R.B. Kitaj. It's a very unpleasant image. It shows an older man lying in bed and he has his arm reached out into the um, crotch of a young woman. And when you see it at first, it can be seen as problematic if you see it as a, a uh, sort of male gaze fantasy but it comes down to interpretation because I, I attempt to see it as perhaps he is the victim and she is the threatening presence in the image and that's why I find this painting so interesting in the way that it can evoke debate about the subject. I I have a very uh, deep connection with the forest and in particular the forest in Norway uh, because I moved around a lot but I would often be close to the forest and 
later it also became a place that I would go to when there were things in life that you just had to accept that you couldn't really control. Um, things like loneliness, for example. And I realized that when I'm alone, I'm with the tree, with the flower and the lake. It gives you this autonomy when being in the forest. The forest can symbolize so many things and especially in our culture. It is often connected to chaos and wilderness. And I find that that the forest is stable in its endless chaos. So there is a certainty there in that nature will always be what it is. Even if it changes, it's still nature. And I think that is something that we always come back to. I would like to talk about the tree artworks, uh, Dvale. Viskelek and Vessel. They're all connected to this short story that I wrote uh, this spring. And um, the story is about giving and taking as well as self-autonomy. In the paintings, I explore the body as a container a home or a landscape. In the way that the tree is a home to other beings, our bodies are home to little creatures, including our souls. But it is also a living being with a life of its own. 